Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to install the SharePoint Designer software. First, you go to the, the gearbox here and go to Office 365 settings. And this applies wherever you are in Office 365. And there's the software tab. And here's the software. So the one that you want is here under tools and add-ins and there's SharePoint Designer 2013. And then you just click install and run. And there's no license on SharePoint Designer 2013 so you can install this on any number of computers it doesn't matter. In some cases you might also want to install SharePoint Designer 2010. That's not available here through Office 365. So the best way to find that is simply go to Google and search for SharePoint Designer 2010 and then download and install that. And there you have the SharePoint Designer and as you see that's 254 megabytes. In a later demo I'll go through why you would need or want SharePoint Designer 2010. There are some unique cases for that but the one you really want is the SharePoint Designer 2013 which allows you to do workflows and also do some file and folder imports. So um, you definitely want to install SharePoint Designer 2013 if you are a power user of SharePoint. And there we are, SharePoint Designer is up and running. And then you would open a site and just add the URL to the site. And notice when you open a site, then it's important to open with the right URL here. As you see, the URL has a lot of stuff on it, layout, starts and all that, but that's part right there before the layouts that's the address to the site so that shows you how to open a site in SharePoint Designer 2. So while Office is installing here you'll notice that I can still actually start working in SharePoint Designer 2013. Yep, now it's open. Thank you for watching this demo where I've showed you how to install and open a site with SharePoint Designer 2013.